Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to some more FM 2022. We are playing with the Bohemians in the Czechish Republic and uh, yeah, we have a few games here and it's, um, I think, I think we did better than I thought it would go. <laughs> I cannot blame the morale here, that's for sure. Um, it actually came back up quite easily after the last um we, we had a really big hit on the morale here if you remember from the last episode but it didn't really go that badly um you can see from here Kavina uh, was the next game after our horrible result here in the first division against Siski Budjovic so we did manage to get back into it and get a, a good victory but um the morale was still pretty low around here but it, it yeah you know it came back up uh, quite, quite probably after this on the united match here but uh, yeah the kaviner pretty good game ugwu with a goal pasalik with a goal dundee yeah uh <laughs> i'm a little bit surprised that we actually did win that one um it's going quite good in the Euro Cup so far, as you can also see further down. But yeah, there we go. I mean, uh, it's, it's looking quite good. Then we had a draw here against Bani Gostrava. <sighs> they are a good team. I'm not going to lie, but uh, I'm a little bit disappointing with that one. But yeah, it's... Um, yeah, and also in this period of time here, the, the, those first four or five games or so... Uh, I, I did a lot of changes for the tactic. Uh, just small, slight changes. But yeah, it's it's never really a good idea to do that, uh, at least how I feel like it. And I also stopped doing that further down the list here. But um, yeah, it's 1-1, uh, one, one, fair enough. And then this is probably the worst result of them, of, of them all. It's a second division team, Usti Nat Labem. Uh, so we are out of the cup uh, on penalties. There were 11 penalties. 11 penalties and uh, our uh, second goal uh, what is this called Ma 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 Marinkovic our second option for our goalkeepers uh, he was uh, he was not having a good day out there and uh, he actually had to take the last penalty and he missed it <laughs> yeah that's that's how many that's how many penalties was uh, he actually did save one of the penalties but that's out of 11 penalties <laughs> so um yeah he missed it so uh yeah not not a good day on there uh, you can see it here 6.3 for his rating not good for someone being on goal having to to save a lot of penalties but he didn't um and as you can see here puzzle is with 10.0 so it, it wasn't because we we're playing really bad out there it's just yeah it is what it is we're out of the fa cup so we're not gonna get uh, a double <laughs> we're not gonna clinch a double here but, uh, you know, first division is looking a little bit better now. Another win here against Mlada Boleslav. And uh, even here in the cup again against Lask. So we are looking really good in the... Uh, we already got over 1 million just from playing two games, right? Uh, <laughs> winning, so the, the, the money from that is really nice. So Siskar also grabbing a goal here. And um, he's been all right. I mean, Siskar is getting back into what I was thinking he would be able to do this season. And he is getting a little bit better now. And still developing, of course. Pasalik, still probably the best player in our club, to be honest. He's just fantastic in there. Tebley's 4-1. Probably one of the best results so far. Uh, maybe if we are uh, looking at the league only, that's probably one of the best results in the season. Ukwu Tijani getting in there and getting a goal, actually. Bornemann. And Bornemann is finally coming into some form, so that's good. And Templeman with a goal as well. And then, uh, you know, somewhat salty result here at the end. A draw against Sigma Ulmug. No goals for us, no goals for them. We were the better team, but we didn't manage to score uh, away from home. So yeah, that's uh, so that has been the schedule. And uh, you know what? Overall, pretty decent. If we take a look at where we are in the uh, league here, the first division. Sixth. I mean, we're not too far out of the top three, right? I think we are... We are probably going to fight for the top three, but it could be a hard season for us uh, playing a lot of matches. So we, we'll see how it goes, but I, I wouldn't be... We're, we're probably not going to have the same point, point, point hole as last season. I think we're going to get less points this season, but if we can manage to get into the top three or top four, 
uh, I would say top four. I, I would be happy about that because it will be a season with a lot of money coming in. I'm talking about money. Look at that, 6.5 million. So we are pretty stable when it comes to our money. I am spending a lot of money and we will probably spend even more in the wage budget uh, down the road here. Because, well, right now, right now, we do have a couple of guys and I have tried to sign them again. We take a look at the expire dates here. We do have Dara running out of a contract, Solil and Ukwu, uh, and also Mikolic, actually. Uh, no, no, that's next season, actually. But we do have a couple of the big boys in there that I want to sign again. I have already tried. I it didn't. I didn't succeed. But I will probably have another opportunity to do it, and I will probably allow some big wages for some of these boys because they are very. I mean, that is our captain and vice captain right there, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I want to sign them again. Uh, they are still 25, 24 and 26. I don't see why I wouldn't sign them again on a new contract for a long, long contract as well. Um, but I I, uh, I didn't get them the first time. The only one that I did get the first time was Pasalik, which is great. So he got a new contract, 2,700 wages. I think he's the top earner, maybe. Let's check it out, actually. Is he the top earner? No, Vincent actually is. But still... He's up there, 2000. I mean, he deserved that, right? He's 24. He's been our best player consistently for the past one and a half year. And uh, so, yeah, running for four years, 2700. Great, absolutely great. As, as you can see, he's been uh, fantastic in the league, in the cups, in the everywhere. He's just uh, he's just a good player uh, on that inside forward role, all the winger, but mostly as an inside forward. So uh, I'm happy to have him again and. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. But we do need to um, to get these guys in as well, and and that's why that's why I'm saying this will go up to uh, probably 45 or 46k. So we are taking a lot of our weight budget out, and I need to sell players. I I do need to sell players. I need to offload some of our players because. Yeah, uh, we need to make room for big wages on the big the, the big boys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the projection here. It's going up. Okay, that's good. I mean, we do need to be in the European competitions to, to have this going up. But, I mean, going forward, we want to be in the competitions. So, uh, the European competition, that is. So, yeah, but it, it looks it looks okay. I think the season is going all right. But, of course, it's... it's uh, in terms of the... Uh, first division it, it could be a smaller pole, uh, point hole but that's okay because uh, as we can see here in the Euro Cup it looks pretty decent now we do have a game today against um, what are they called Tel Aviv we do have a game against Tel Aviv today if we can win that one I think we are out of the group stages already then yeah, not out of it but actually winning it uh, or at least getting uh, top two right so uh, if we could win that game that would be absolutely lovely so yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's it. I guess we are almost ready to get into the next match. We do have a couple of tactics things to look at, but uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, so here it is. It is, uh, well, it's still an astrometric formation. It pro pretty much looks like the same as you probably have seen it. Now I can tell you, as you can see here pro as well, I I'm on version 2.0 and I've even made more different tactics and tried different things in this period of time uh, in between the episodes. So a lot of stuff have happened, but I... I would say gone back to something we have played previously and uh, so it, it's not a very big change for you guys but I've gone through a lot of different things here but um, we got an advanced forward in there now and a pressing forward on support we got a white target man in Ukwu over here you can also play an inside forward but right now I'm trying a white target man for him um, Wing backs, of course, inverted wing backs. So most of this is still the same. Some of the instructions are different. I, I've actually just put this in, move into channels, because past map was suggesting I needed to do that. Um, the advanced forward got past it shorter. The white target man stay wider. Central midfielders are pretty much the same, if I'm not mistaken. I think they got the same, except from dribble uh, less here. I got that out because we're not. Um, we're actually not. We're, we're allowing them to dribble a little bit more. Most of these guys going forward are actually decent dribblers, so I'm gonna allow that. I'm just going through them here so you can just see the instructions, right? Um, because there could be some changes that I have forgotten as well. So, uh, but most of them are still fairly the same. So uh, that's about it. And in possession here, we are uh, with this one, of course, we're forcing down the right hand side. 
And um, I don't know what else I've changed in here. Well, Dribble Less is out. And I've also I've tried higher tempos. I've tried wider formations. But this is what I landed on uh, for the last couple of games. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. This is basically the same. Out of procession and in transition is exactly the same. I haven't even touched them when I changed my, uh, my stuff uh, around. This is where I made all the changes. Um, so I also went up on attacking as well in some games uh, for mentality, but that didn't really work out too well for me. At least not how I considered it. But uh, this is what I landed on, and this is also what we're going to play with for this game. Pulsing down the right-hand side, and um, we're going to play with Mikolic, Marcel, Badaka is going to go in there, Indefi, Dera, Aikidi, Solil, Bess is moving up to the central midfield here because we got an injury for Janosek. And uh, what else? Hmm. Halford, yeah, I, mean, I could play Halford, but he has not been great this season. Yeah, I'm going to put him on the bench. He hasn't been great at all. Um, so Bess is going to move up there. And Upu on the white target man, Sisker on the advanced forward, and Bonneman on the pressing forward role. Could move them around, but I think Bonneman might be a better pressing forward than Sisker, and I think Sisker is a better, better advanced forward. So here's the question, who got the goals from us? Uh, well, it's um, Ukwu, Bonneman and Siska all got four goals, but Siska played less games, so I guess advantage to him. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we don't really have a top goal scorer. Oh, well, we do have Pasalik, who is sitting out this one because we are not playing with an inside forward over here. I'm going to try with Ukwu on the wide target man instead. Uh, but he could come in. He, it's very, very likely that he's going to come in for this one. He's fresh, he's ready. And I probably should start with him in, but we I'm gonna rotate a little bit, play... Um, I, I kind of have four main strikers. Uh, <laughs> because I will also say that Pasalik is a striker. He's just an inside striker or inside forward. But he's definitely a striker. Um, He can play as a striker, right? But he, he's our main goal scorer, so... <laughs> <laughs> but we do have three, these three guys as well, who is also main men up there. And I would say anyone playing in the uh, up here in this area are my strikers, right? Uh, even 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 if they play on an inside forward or wide target man role, they are capable of scoring goals on that positioning as well. Very capable, actually. Many of our goals are scored from the inside forwards or wide target man areas. So uh, have that in mind. Right, I think we're about ready. Yeah, let's get into it. Actually, your position instructions. Did I do this? Nope, I did not. Same sale deal here. I'm just going for the same. What I know is working. Right, so uh, there we go. Team selection, back to that. Submit team. Just a quick look if I made a mistake here. Mm, I'm thinking about putting Marcel out and taking... Oh no, we don't really... Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't register Gabriel for this uh, group stages. Hmm. So we don't. We don't only really have three. I could put less. Uh, Lis, uh, what is his name? Lissis. Lis, 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 I think it's Lessig actually. Lessig. Uh, we could put him on here, but I don't want to play both the darker and Lessig in there. I'm gonna have Marcel instead. I, yeah, he he got an injury risk here, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Um. Yeah, and I think Marcel and um, Howlstark has probably been one of our best players this season. Th that the central defense is perfectly fine. Uh, I don't really have any worries there. Never press Saburit. Okay, it is this guy. Okay, I will not do that then. There we go. Kick off. Here we go. Pretty big match at home against Tel Aviv. If we can win this and have nine points after three games, that would be. We also could bring ourselves to win another 427k if we win it so that would be lovely money money is key because money is gonna allow us to have bigger wages it's gonna allow us to maybe sign a better striker next season or you know something like that whatever it is um but yeah these competitions it's all about the money it's not about you know getting into a final or winning the competition. Nope, it's about winning as many games we can and get the money. I mean, would it be nice to get into a final? Sure, but we're not really there when it comes to uh, the um, the strength of our squad. There are just way too many big teams um, in the conference league. But we got into a really good game. Uh, we got into probably one of the best groups we could get into where we could beat any of them. 
And that's nice, that's nice. No big Atletico Madrid or something like that. Just easy game. Oh, hello. Oh, what a free header and he's missing the goal completely from five yards out. Five meters, whatever. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that was a big chance, wasn't it? That was a really big chance for him. Akiti winning that header. Akiti have stepped up this season. He's He's been one of... Uh, I, I don't know if he's taking over from Bez, but... He's definitely been good in there. Oh, Siska winning that header. Bess. Ukwu. Ukwu going wide here. Okay. Now to Ndefi again. Nice. Oh, they're just passing it between each other. And Ndefi taking a shot here, getting into the uh, box area. Interesting. See, in the in, uh, not too often the uh, inverted wingback is getting in there. Because I don't have them... Uh, I mean, they're not playing on attack, they're playing on support. And also, I haven't told them to... Actually, is he on... Uh, I'm actually a little bit... Uh, did I get? A, did I go back on that? Play instructions. Yeah, he is on get further forward. Okay, that makes sense then. All right, I put that back in. All right. Hmm. But yeah, uh, the tactics seems to be doing okay. Uh, overall, I would say right now. So uh, I've stopped doing more changes also because I think it's a really bad choice to do that. Wow, that was really, really close. Oof, hit the post. Hit the post. Managed to not screw up there. That was their first shot on target. Uh, well, it wasn't on target, just the first shot in total as well. They do have one on target now as well, but that was a small chance. But yeah, we are controlling the games, but we are still having a little bit of a hard time getting the goals if we are not playing uh, Pasalik in there. And that's what we're seeing right now. We don't really get the goals without Pasalik. Oh god, that's... Oh my god, that's a disgusting goal. Wow. Alright. I mean, it's not a bad team. Just remember that Tel Aviv is... I wouldn't say they're man for man better than us they're probably around our strength right they're probably the best team in uh, they are the best team in israel and uh it isn't it's it's not the it's not a better league than the czechish republic for sure but it's this is the top dog from israel uh so yeah ukwu okay akiti ukwu again come on mates we need a goal now we are at home. We are not supposed to uh, lose this one. Ukwu, that's a nice ball if he's not offside. Doesn't look like it. Oh, Bess with a shot. So Leo, not not the man for the header. <laughs> he's not real great in the air. Okay, could be a counter here. Yeah, not really. We got back. All right. Oh, so Leo with a good chance here from a free kick. Ooh, that was a big one. That was a big one. Did he defend that or did it hit the post? I don't know if he actually saved it or it hit the post, but it was a pretty good uh, free kick. But, I mean, we can have as many good chances as we like. If we don't put them in, well, we're gonna lose it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I've seen this uh, the entire season where we are the better team and they score our goal early on or something like that from one chance. And I, I, I don't really know what to do about that. I, I don't really have an answer to uh, being the best team and, you know, not really have too many chances against us and then get behind uh, without scoring a goal. That's not offside. Wow. So Lille with a goal. Okay, great. It looked offside. That's why I was a little bit... Uh, but I guess it wasn't. It must have been really tight. Who made the assist here? Biss? Yeah. Okay, wow, that was a really good run by Zulil, and that's why we have an attacking midfielder on uh, attack, I suppose. I mean, they're making all the runs and stuff, our attack, our, our midfielders are just not really... <laughs> they are not midfielders very good on the composure and finishing kind of duties, but they do get themselves into a lot of positions. That's why I'm saying the tactic is definitely... What I try to do with any tactic that I'm trying to do, all of them seems to be working. It's just, you know, financing what is... What is doing a little bit better than the, you know, my other change, right? But all of all the things I do seems to be working. It's just finding the one that works the best for the players that we have, and then hopefully the players are gonna, you know, uh, deliver on the day. Um, that's why I made so many changes because I'm trying to. It, it's all working. It's just about what is working the absolute best, right? That's 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 the idea about it. 
And right now, um, I, I might I might need a, a central midfielder. I mean, there is a couple of spots where I'm thinking, okay, I need something that is a little bit better on this spot. I need something that is a little bit better on this spot. Or maybe not better, just another kind of player. Um, I mean, uh, my players overall are doing fine, uh, I would say. Uh, but we are not scoring enough on, on, on specific, um, like these opportunities, right? They are not really scoring enough on those opportunities where it's half chances like this one. And that is where I potentially need another kind of player on that spot. Um, but, yeah. Alright, that's a good... Wow, that that's a good goal. That, another good goal. I, I, I'm seeing good goals here. Uh, I, I don't really see us defending uh, badly here. I mean, we are trying to push out and then they get this guy on position. That's, that's a brilliant cross. I, I, I don't really have anything here where I'm, you know, it's just a really good goal. But uh, it's annoying because they got one chance. I mean, you, you see it. You see it right here. They don't get a lot of chances. They get a, a few really, really, really well played um, chances and they score their goals. They're just clinical here. Can we get it? <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's a half chance again, right? It's a half chance. We don't get the big chances because of how we are playing. We get We get a lot of half chances. And that's another half chance. Dera. Okay, Bornemann. We need another goal now, guys. It's just frustrating to see all these goals we are conceding. Um, another half chance, I would say. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it's not a half chance, but it's it's a chance. That's for sure. We need more clinical players, right? That's that's. I need some strikers that are more clinical than the ones we have. Because um, they're not really... I mean, we do have an inside forward who is stepping up. Pascal, right? He, he's he's doing way more than I could expect him to do, and um, we we need a striker that can do the same. And right now we we don't have that. Sisker is not doing it. Bornemann is not doing it. Uh, Ukwu is not doing it, and uh, any of the other strikers out on the bench or uh, in the first team is not doing it. Like uh, Sutil or um, yeah, what's his name? Uh, I have, another, I have a couple of other uh, strikers, but they are not really uh, Tijani, and they're not really up for it, right? We need a striker that is more clinical, score way more goals. Ukwu, oh, come on, yeah, there we go. Okay, well, he is stepping up here now as a white target, man. That's good. I, I would say he's probably playing better every time I'm playing him on the left-hand side instead of as a striker. He's, he's just doing better with a little bit more space. I don't know why that is. He's just playing better on the left-hand side uh, rather than uh, rather than up front. Okay, back to two-two, and we know they're not going. They are not going to get a lot of chances, and we should still be the better team out there. We are the better team out there, right? We are the better team. They have one, two small chances or big chances here and there, and that, that's about it. Uh, but when they do get those chances, they're gonna they're gonna create something good. They just have some quality players that are going to create those chances from time to time. That's a nice tackle. We need to outscore them here. Oh, here we go again. Could be a good chance. Uh, it's actually well defended by Endeffi here. I'm pretty happy with that uh, defending. Um, 67 gone, 67 gone. Hmm. I'm thinking about taking Dara out. I mean, he has a brilliant game, as always, when he's play, uh, playing, playing as a wingback. But we could definitely change it up and do something like this and bring in Colina, right? <clears throat> yeah. And Ukbu can really play here, so let's change it up and play as, a, as an advanced fall. No, I'm going to do it like that. Siska hasn't played well, <clears throat> but he got a lot of condition on him, so you're gonna allow him to play. Kitty is all right. So Lil, yeah, that's that central midfield attacking role is always uh, struggling a little bit for condition because they are running a lot in there. So I think he's coming off for maybe Halfa. Hmm. I have to think about that one. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know. Sure. I mean, Halver is even worse when it comes to trying to get... Okay, we got a yellow there. Uh, undo that. 
Yeah, and put uh, put Salil on that uh, support role instead because then he won't use his condition as hard. And Halfer is also pretty good on the left hand side. He just half hasn't been great all season. He he's um, he's having an off season, that's for sure. Maybe because I'm not using him as much in. I mean, maybe it's because of the uh, formation I'm using, and often he's on attack when I'm using him, and he's not really an attacking player. So, I mean, that makes sense, right? Ooh, cool. some good space here. Oh, <laughs> super sub Halfa. <laughs> Just when I am killing him. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there we go. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, you, you won't see a lot of goals from him. That's for sure. But that's a great one. Pulling, pulling. I mean, that, that central defender got pulled out of position by Ukwu. Um, really poor defending there by uh, that central defender. And that made space for Halfa to get that pass and have, you know, an, an open goal. Good. Cal Bornemann, Aikidi, Solil, Ukwu coming deep, Halfa. That's a nice pass out to Endefi. He can go back to Halfa, gonna lose it there. Endefi really poor at, um, passing. Not Halfa's mistake. Badaka, Halfa. Badaka is not playing a whole lot, to be honest. He's just a backup to the other two guys, basically. That, that's, that's about his role now. And I, I, I think he's fine with it. He's, uh, I think he's fine with it. He's, he's getting some game time, but not a whole lot. Bornemann, Ukwu, Halfa, and whew, another shot from him. Jesus, what a sub he's uh, having here. Um, I think Solil is coming off, maybe. Uh, I could put someone on. How was Dark? <laughs> on the midfield? I don't really want to use him. I think Lesik here. I think, I think I can do this and then bring Lesik down here and a key the up on that midfield role instead. I think that's going to work for me. That's gonna work for me. So the youngster is coming in. Lissik. Yeah, he's definitely also improving a lot, Lissik. Uh, but he hasn't played a whole lot. Wow, that was close from Ikidi. Or oh, Ukwu? Was it Ukwu or Ikidi? I didn't see it, but one of the two. If we can get this over the line, I would be pretty happy with this result. Um, and also the performance. I mean, they had a, those chances that was just brilliant chances, right? Where they got the two goals. Um, but other than that, they didn't really seem too good. Halfa! Oh my god! It's just... Ah, oh, curse of the commentary, isn't it? Two goals in one game by Halfa as a super sub. <laughs> I guess... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. But yeah, if you look at the average rating and his uh, overall performance, it hasn't been great, but... Well, there we go, he's back in it. And... Um... Siska with a great pass here to also bring his overall rating up, I believe. Uh, he's still on 6.5, but he did get an assist there, so I don't know. That's actually a little bit odd. Maybe it's going up in a minute. 4-2 against Tel Aviv. Alright. Not too bad. Especially not when, again, we're looking at how it uh, came to be, right? They had two good opportunities. Oh, that was also a decent one, but it it was also easy enough for Mikulic to deal with. But uh, not a whole lot of big chances for them or anything, really. They just had those two goals from some from decent chances, and that's about it. Oh, hello! That was really well done by uh, Siska, not going for goal, but actually uh, taking it down for... Uh, who was that? I didn't even see who it was. Kolina, I think it was, with the shot. Defi, Badaka, okay. That's interesting. Wasn't really a good corner. Could still be a good chance. Marcel! Free header, but yeah, he should probably also have uh, headed it down for Ukwu or someone. But I mean, tactically, we look pretty solid. Um, we got all of our half chances, uh, not a lot of big chances because of how we are playing. But that's 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 fine as long as we are scoring four goals. I can't really complain too much. Um, we didn't score in, in in we didn't score in the last match, but that was away from home against a pretty good team. Oh, okay. Well, another good chance there. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, we are playing with a wing back over there, so that's why they. Uh, you can see, you can see Endefi getting caught here, uh, not following his man. And this guy got the creativity and vision to get that ball over to. Uh, yeah, that's what he did. Yeah, that that's a great that's a great combination, and it's also 
one of the easiest way in FM22 to get goals, uh, crossing it into a good uh, striker here. Um, that's and and Badaka also on the wrong side here, and a good header. I, I I mean he has to finish it off, right? It's a good header, and Mikolic is ready for it. He is, it's a little bit open on the right hand side here on the front post, but it's a good goal. It's a good goal. It's absolutely it's a good goal and. Tactically, yeah, you could say we're playing with the wing back a little bit too far forward. So when he has to run back, he's tracing, right? He's tracing back, and uh, so you, you know that that's that's something we that's a risk with this tactic. It is um, it is where uh, often we see uh, goals against us, except from the first two. The first two was just brilliant, uh, but this one is more tactically where I'm thinking, okay, this is where they're getting a goal because of how we are playing and also because of how you often see goals in FM22 from the AI. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change a thing. I still think if this is working. It's um, I, I'm, I'm playing someone who is not a natural wingback on the left-hand side over there. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is what it is, right? Um, yeah, and Devi never really do too well on this side. Uh, he, he really likes to play on the right-hand side, but... Uh, I can't really complain too much. You can see the momentum here as well. We're definitely the better team. And they just have some... I mean, if we look at their... Uh, if we take a look at some of the best players here, that's a really good player, right? That's that's just... He would go straight into my team. That's a good player. Uh, this guy? Also... I mean, I'm, uh, yeah, he's straight into my team. He's better than our players. He's a really, really good target forward. So you see what I'm saying, right? They got some really good players. So it's it's not it's not it, man for man. They got almost better players on all spots here. So we are doing well. We are uh, tactically and and the play. Uh, we are just doing well. So if we are losing against someone like this, it wouldn't be a big worry. And playing really well against them, I mean, how much more can I ask for, right? How much more can I ask for? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Really good game. We got another 427k down the bank. It's great and nine points in the league uh, that's uh, fantastic fantastic yeah absolutely fantastic all right but we do have one more game to play in this episode and it is against a duke la prague and uh, you know what guys we should probably win this one we are at home and uh, yeah some of the guys is a little bit uh, condition is you know when you're playing this many games and also have all the euro cups right it's uh, yeah um, so it's not the best team we can put out there but it's not a bad one either, and I think we should still win it. Mikolaj in goal, and Defi on the invert wing back this time. And Badaka is uh, gonna get another game here because Marcel is not really ready for this one. Howstark is coming back in, and he's been fantastic. But actually, I think Marcel actually had him have him beaten this season so far. So <laughs> that's interesting. Best on the halfback role, Finson on the wing back role. How for us? <laughs> Let's see if he can do it again. Uh, starting in this time as the central midfielder on attack. Timbleman is, got, uh, is on the support role uh, in the central midfield. Pasalik is coming back in. Siska is up front. And Tijani as a, uh, well, <laughs> fourth or fifth choice uh, striker. But some of the other guys are just, they, they are done for. <laughs> um, they are they're pretty done for. But uh, he has done okay when he's been playing. And I, uh, yeah, personalized his role here as a target forward. He's still come. He's come. He's still gonna come deep uh, to get the ball, and he's he's quite all right on the ball as well. He got some decent vision, some decent passing, good first touch, and all that. So he's not bad coming deep and helping out the midfield. So uh, let's try that. Yeah, I, I hope it's gonna be fine because we do have some players that cannot really play this match. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, but we we will see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm 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 optimistic about this one, and I probably shouldn't be. <laughs> But I'm optimistic about this game because I think the tactic is there and the players are playing to their best ability, I think, for the most part at least. So, um, Pasalik, he got goals in him, right? So it should be alright this game. Let's get in there and see how it goes against Sp not Sparta Prague, Dukla Prague. That's a, a whole other team. Uh, if you want weaker foot, we're already doing that. Match preview, kick off. But yeah, I think they are. We can actually see it when uh, it's getting to the review here. Our form is looking great now. It's looking really great, solid. And how are they looking? Pfft, yeah, they, we should win this one at home. We should absolutely win this one. Yeah, there are no two ways about it here. 
So they are 12, 9 points, fifth, minus 15. As you can see, we only got two gold difference here, or two plus in gold difference. So we are letting in a little bit too many uh, gold compared to last season. Um, maybe because we are, I don't know. I don't know what it is, actually. I'm not too sure. Maybe some of my tactical choices uh, have, have done that, or... We don't really have the same uh, constellation as last uh, last year with the you know both the central defenders and also some of the new wing backs and stuff like that. Maybe we are a little bit more aggressive, have changed a little bit too much, and that's been leading to a bit too many conceded goals. That's what I'm thinking at least. But I am trying to steady the boat now, and uh, hopefully we will get some good results here by not changing too much and also. Uh, yeah, just hope that we are going to do good in the mid-season here. All right, Finson, Tijani, Finson, Templeman, Tijani. Oh, that was actually close. That was a really good uh, little play. That was that was quite nice. I like that. Hazalik with the corner. Shouldn't Tijani be on that one on the front post? Maybe because I have changed so many things. I I think I need to take a look at my uh, because I, he should be in there. The target for yeah, the, the biggest guy should absolutely be on that. And that would usually be the guy on the left hand side in this formation. Yeah, but it would usually be the pressing forward being the biggest boy. So I could also try and do the central defenders instead, uh, especially the left hand side of the central defenders on the corners. Because it's either going to be Halberstag or it's going to be uh, uh, Baderka uh, on the left-hand side. And both of them are pretty good in the air and pretty tall as well. So could try that instead of my strikers. Hmm, something to think about. See, who, who do we have here? Let's see. Oh, we do have Halberstag on the front post and then we have Siska. Okay, that's actually fine. That's fine. That's okay, because this guy is also really, really, really strong. Very good in the air. If we take a look at him here, he's been developing really, really nicely. Uh, yeah, strength 16, jumping reach 11. It's not that high. He's 180 tall, so he's not very big. But he got 16 heading. His aggression is 18, which is also important. And his bravery is 14, which is also important for these uh, corner kicks. So he's definitely not bad on these spots. Not, not at all. And, and uh, the other guy in here, Haustag, is also very good. So it's actually not it's not the worst players I got there. And we got Indefi in there. We got Tijiani on the on, on, on the back post. Um, I, I think this is okay, but it, it's not going to give us a whole lot of goals because none of them are very, really, really, really tall and have like 17 jumping reads and all that. But we will get some chances like Haustag here uh, on the front post getting on it. We will see a couple of goals each season with corners. I think I've seen three, maybe. Something like that. Two or three goals, at least, from corners. So it's, it, we're doing all right, and they have nerfed it. Uh, in, this, in the early stages of FM22, it was overpowered. Completely overpowered. If you had a tall guy with good jumping reach and heading, you would get a massive amount of goals if you had that guy on the front post. Or attacking the front post, I think it is. Just absolutely ridiculous, but they have uh, they have nerfed that in uh, pretty early on. Actually, I think it was in February they uh, nerfed it. A good choice as well. <laughs> I was just overpowered as fuck. It's still good. It's still very very good, but it's not overpowered. I would say anymore. That's a good ball into Pasalik. Can he get a goal? No, nah, that's piss poor. <laughs> that's absolutely piss poor. But well well done by Siska. Really good by Siska here. Alrighty, we need that goal, guys. 40 minutes. Hmm. We're playing okay, I would say, but we do need those goals from uh, one of all those chances we have. 0 0.81 XG. Yeah, steady on and we should get that goal, I think. Yeah, uh, continue. Continue with what we're doing. I think we're playing okay. I would have liked to see a little bit more, but uh, and also a goal, of course, but yeah, uh, I think we're doing okay. I was Dark Bess. Up to Templeman. Templeman all the way over to no one. That's alright. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. That wasn't a highlight. This is gonna be a highlight. Okay, Halfer coming deep. I was dark up to Finson. Halfer. Finson. All the way up to Halfer taking a run. That could be a good ball into Siska. He took it a little bit too early. He had time to take it down, but he took the shot right away. Not the right choice, Lara. Not the right choice. The darker, another highlight here after 51. Templeman. 
Gianni coming deep. That's a good ball up to Halfer. He's probably in need of some help up here. Oh, he's gonna cross it to Sis guys. Uh, another uh, not not too great chance, but it. I mean, I, I could probably not have asked too too much more from Halfer. I think he did okay in that situation. Sis guys should not really have gone for goal, but that's what they do often when you see it in the uh, match engine. Uh, yeah, we probably need to start changing something here. We could just try and force it down the other side. Um, maybe changing the two, these two guys around. And... Finson as the inverted, Indefi as the wingback, that's fine. Pasovic as a winger, sure, why not? Still target forward here, pressing forward here. Yeah, let's try that and see what that actually will do. <laughs> Tag forward on attack on that side and pressing forward support. Sure, why not? Uh, the question is, do I want to make any changes here? 6.5 for Indefi. Do we have Dero on the... No, we do not. Oh yeah, we do. Maybe Dera in. Because he can he can make the difference in there. He, he's a difference maker uh, on that wingback role, being that fast. And coming in pretty late when, when their legs are, you know, being shaky and all. Uh, he will just outrun them, get a lot of good crosses in. I mean, he's not really good on the crosses, but uh, he, he seems to always be doing great when he's coming in late in the games as a wingback. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that's... <laughs> yeah. Well, conceding too many goals this season, that's for sure. What happened here? It's just a goal kick, right? It's just a goal kick over the top. We're not winning it, and it is... Who is it? Why can we not see it? But Darker and Dera. <laughs> That's just too easy. But Darker not winning his header. This guy running in be behind our central... I don't even know why but Darker is going up there and trying to win it when we have another player there. Big, 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 big mistake. Absolutely horrendous mistake. And Bedaka, he he do have mistakes in him like this. He do. He actually did win it, didn't he? Did he didn't he win it? He headed it down for this guy. Uh, absolutely horrendous mistake by Bedaka. He should not go up like that when we have. It was actually Templeman there. He should just not go up there. And I'm actually saying that they shouldn't go up like that. But sometimes the players are just doing whatever they think is the right thing to do. But uh, they shouldn't go up and mark like that, um, because I'm not marking tight with this guy right now. Actually, I am. I am marking tight with this guy. Shit, maybe I should take that out. Because that is definitely leading to this goal. Marking tight on that guy was leading to this goal. If he, if he wasn't up there, this would probably not have been a goal. <sighs> Dang it. You just, why didn't you just let Templeman deal with that? Oh, here we go again. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know what to say here. Falling apart, I guess. <laughs> I, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Again, Fedaka, uh, completely out of position, just getting caught out here where he shouldn't be. Uh, I don't know why Dara was not out here, but... Fuck me. Um. Yeah. All right. I I, I really I really got I, I I don't have any. I mean, tactically, you you can you. I don't know. I mean, should we play with a wing back further down? I don't know. Would that change it? Would Bedurka not get out there? Uh, I, pff, he is he is playing wider, right? So he would stay wider when we are in possession. We wasn't in possession here, so he shouldn't even be out there. Uh. Pff. I, uh, it, it, yeah, uh, he's coming off, that's for sure. Um, I might need to... Uh, no, he doesn't have Mark Tider on him because he's actually on the cover roll. So Badaka is just having a shite game. Really, really shite game. He's doing all the wrong things in this one. Um, yeah. Uh, I... I it could be just maybe those players having a you know shot day, but tactically we also need to think about that because the, the goals are coming from the both 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 times from that side. But Dark are making two big mistakes, at least one really big mistake. I don't know, I don't know. But also we are not taking our chances. We're not scoring goals here. 
And that's another, you know, thing to uh, wonder. Why are we not scoring goals? <laughs> we have the chances, right? We have the chances. Um, but we're not scoring them. Ouch. Well, that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be hard on our uh, top three... Uh, trying to get through top three here. That's going to be tough on us now. When we can win against Dukla Prague, that's... Uh, at home, <laughs> we are losing 2-0. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, it's, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. And I don't really have... Uh, I don't want to change my tactic. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. Really don't. Um. Yeah, I don't really... If anything, it would be taking the wing back by, uh, more, uh, further back. But that's also... Yeah, I think I think maybe taking the wing back uh, further back. I, I could try that. I haven't really done too much of that. Just just putting the wing back uh, back in the tactic. Um, Jesus Christ, that was bad. That was that was terrible. Yeah, I mean top three is gone. I, I don't believe in top three this season. That's that's gonna be gone. Um, we might even struggle for top five. Uh, I would say it, it could be hard to get into top five this season. Which we, we we have seen the signs. We have seen the signs throughout the season that we are probably not as good as last season. But uh, there are not really any reasons for it, except from just changing the tactic too much. But I, 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 what I'm thinking here is, is pulling back uh, the wing back to this spot. And that's probably the only change I really want to do. Um, maybe tell him not to stay wider. Yeah, we got, yeah I, th I think that's about it. I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, for next time, I'm gonna save it and all. But yeah, that's um, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Not stay wider. Bring this guy a little bit further back. We do have this central midfielder up here anyway on this side. So yeah, um, he, he will still get up there. He's, he he will still get up there. No 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 uh, no questions asked about it. But he will, when we are defending, probably get. I don't know how that actually works when they're playing up here compared to here. But we are going to try and do that and see what it will do in the tactic. I will see how that does in the pass map. If we take a look at our pass map this time around. Uh, that's not the pass map. You can see how far up he is, right? He'll probably be a little bit further down next time in the pass map. And yeah, I think so. I think that will be the reason. But in this case, it was actually on the other side when we were playing with the wingback over there. That is why that happened. But that would be the same case for that guy over there in Defi, or was it Dera actually? He would also be way up here, right? Uh, in the tactic or the pass map and heat map here. Um, hmm. Yeah, and, and also this guy being a little bit too wide compared to what we want, right? Um, yeah, so taking that wide off on, on the personal roles. Might help us out. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, you could you could correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm thinking is wrong with us conceding two goals there. That's that's what I'm thinking. We have we have our wingback a little bit too aggressive compared to what we can handle right now, uh, defensively speaking. We can still do it when when we are in control of the game, but uh, out of possession, we need them a little bit further back. Yeah. That's what that's that's what I'm gonna try. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Even with us, uh, I mean, it, it's great in the Euro Cup. That's that's brilliant, right? We're getting it's a good season in terms of finances and getting into the Euro Cup again. But uh, the league, mm, <laughs> uh, we could be struggling. We could be struggling, and um, yeah, some of our players are also struggling a little bit. But uh, still, overall, I think we're doing fine. But we are. We are looking for some better results here, um, especially if we want to have chances of getting into uh, European competitions next season. Then we need to we need to find some better results in in the future. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you around next time.